welcome to the Julie's World vlog. I hope you enjoy this holiday festival. Well, I mean, it's Christmas and it's Hanukkah and all that good stuff. So happy holidays to everyone. I'm feeling kind of epically proud of this stamp. So there's a girl named Marta Harvey who's been doing these tessellating stamps as part of Carve December. So I decided I wanted to try it. And tessellations are things that tile together. So like hexagons are a good example and there's some very simple shapes, but MC Escher very famously did a lizard. So that's what I decided to attack. It was hard. Um, and it fits together well in some places and oops, there's some gaps in others, but overall I'm pretty darn proud of myself. I'm so excited. I'm at my mom's house and this is the most giant, here's my hand for scale, crossword puzzle One ever. Right now. Title song from a 1966 hit movie, it ends in IE. Is Mamie, no, that was Auntie Mame. Is there a, I don't know, 1966. So here's what I've learned from the crossword puzzle. Learners are earners, so go to school. So I've been really good about bringing my reusable bags to the grocery store, but today I forgot, and so I got paper bags at Whole Foods, and look, can you see? there? Look at these cool patterns that are on the bags. It actually makes me think of inspiration for Carve December or for lots of stuff, so maybe I should stop bringing reusable bags to the supermarket. I'm going to see Rogue One today, so I thought some appropriate earwear, you know, just a little something to get into the mood. And uh, I, I, it was fine. It felt a little slow to me. It's, it's not actually sequential past the one that happened last Christmas, um, which I saw twice because I went on two dates with two different boys who both wanted to see it. But that's a whole other story. But anyway, um, so it's I think for people who are like super Star Wars fans, there's some story stuff that's kind of interesting. The CG characters were interesting. There was one character I actually didn't realize was CG. So that was kind of cool. But that may be because I don't know a lot about Star Wars. I feel like it's one of those things that you have to see to be part of the cultural conversation. I'm not sure I would say to people like, oh, it's a great movie, but um, I feel like now I can read everything online and talk to people, so thumbs up for that. Well, here the curtains are in situ, and they match the shower curtain, but oh my gosh, they're too short. Can you see that? The window is way taller than I thought, so I gotta go home and make new curtains again. Boo. Okay, so I just got this box from Golden. This is the order that I placed, and we're gonna see what's inside. Oh my gosh. Oh, these, okay, these bottles are way bigger than I thought they would be. For, I think, uh, I thought these were gonna be the medium-sized bottles instead of the ginormous ones. I mean, I'm not gonna complain, but holy moly, that is a big bottle of high flow. So I got a bunch of different high flow. For future reference, this is what 16 fluid ounces looks like. Really, really, really big. Oh, I thought they were all gonna be this size. So, okay, so for future reference, this is the four fluid ounce size, which I thought was big, and now it looks weenie. Um, although, no, this is matte fluid acrylic, so maybe there is a size in between and it's something else. I don't know. Oh, but here's the, here's the tiny baby. One, this is uh, one fluid ounce. This is, I have a million of these, anyway. And then I also got some various, uh, that's Payne's Gray Acrylic Paint. This is gold small mica flakes. You can see how cool and reflective they are and stuff. So lots of fun goodies to play with. Okay, so I slipped on some black ice and I almost wiped out and fell on my butt, so that was awesome. Um, but thank goodness for hoods and long coats and uh, I had to scrape the ice off my car because it was encased in ice and that was awesome, especially since I forgot my gloves in the house and I was too lazy to go back in and get them. But I have made it to my mother's house, so yeah, survived another day. Okay, I feel like one of those creepy people who corrects textbooks, but there are two 387s in this New York Times crossword puzzle and there's no 388, so I think this is meant to be 388. I, I'm amazed, I found a mistake. use the really huge mat for my scan and cut because 
this thing is ridiculous and takes up so much space, but I had this cut that I had to do that's a little bit larger than uh, 12 by 12. So I'm gonna weed it now. I'm here with the iron heating up for chevron curtains take two let's see if you can see there we go i have more material and this time hopefully they'll be the right size so my curtains are done which is great and i'm going to deliver them tomorrow and get to take a peek at how they look um i'm ready to go to dinner i'm meeting my mom and some of her friends to have thai food which is some of my favorite i've been doing a little bit of late night project life catch up uh you can see that this album is pretty full this one's completely empty and this one is mostly full, so three albums per year, I've probably got about a third of a year left to do. I took some white paper and I hung it up and I just sort of painted all over it and now it's going to turn into Christmas wrapping paper. So here's my paper wrapping my presents and I don't know where I found this gold tape. It looks like it should be duct tape and in fact it's duck brand, but it doesn't feel like duct tape. It's sort of less sticky than that, but I want some more because... Even ugly taping looks so cool. It's so. all handmade. The tag is handmade. The stamp that stamped the tag is handmade. The card is handmade. The stamp on that is handmade. The ribbon is handmade. I stamped on it. The wrapping paper is handmade. The gift is handmade. It's all handmade. Yes. Okay, terrible camera work because I'm trying to light candles and dealing with fire, but this is one of my beautiful menorahs. You can see here it's made up of little people. I bought it at an art fair. Here's hoping my house doesn't burn down. I have to leave, but you're not allowed to blow out Hanukkah candles, so I've left them in my sink. And I'm, I don't think there's anything here that can burn down. I feel like I've checked five times to make sure. Uh, but if I come back and my house is burned down, it was Hanukkah's fault. Plus my fault. We just saw the movie Passengers, which I enjoyed. It wasn't like the greatest movie I ever saw, but I certainly thought it was very watchable. My mom, however, had kind of a negative experience. She was sitting next to a guy who she said she thinks is a serial killer because he kept laughing every single time there was something like really sad or like when somebody got physically hurt or like if they were emotionally, you know, it would, something terrible happened to them, she, he would just laugh hysterically. So. Uh-oh. I'm bad at lighting matches. Yeah, you, you don't, you're, you're, I'm really bad. You're not supposed to go like this. You're supposed to like strike it. Yeah. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech olam. Asher kibishanu, vitzivanu, lahar lekner, shel hanukkah. I almost put the lip match onto the box of matches and I feel like that would have been not a good moment. Okay. Hanukkah! I'm doing a little bit of late night painting here. You can see this painting in progress behind me. Um, lots of dripping, lots of mess, but uh, a good way to end Christmas.
Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next week.